children have you heard of china china is a big country like india today we will learn about tangram a puzzle invented in china one day in the middle of the village suddenly a white curtain appeared everyone was surprised nobody knew why and how that curtain got there when some people were passing by suddenly they saw the shadow of a huge cat on the curtain everybody started thinking about how such a huge cat came to the village but they could not understand anything the next day shadow of a huge bird was seen on the curtain everyone started thinking about how this new shadow appeared on the curtain then bhola was determined to solve the mystery of shadows on the curtain when everybody had gone from there bhola quietly went behind the curtain do you know what he saw there there was no giant bird behind the curtain there was only a bird shape made out of pieces of paper and do you know whose mischief it was it was babban when bhola went behind the curtain he saw babban hiding there in a corner laughing at the people as soon as babban saw bhola he let out a mischievous laughter bhola asked him about the pieces of paper babban is telling bhola that the five pieces of paper make a square in this way we know this by the name of tangram tangram is a unique puzzle made in china which is made of different shapes like this with just these five pieces of tangram we can make various different shapes children here we can see both the shapes made by babban can you say which pieces of the tangram have been used to make these shapes well done children you have identified them perfectly children can you make any shape out of the pieces of this tangram Well done children you have made very beautiful shapes you can also try to make these types of shapes now what babban and bhola will do now we will see in the next video till then you can make shapes and play games with this tangram children in this lesson we learned about tangram in the previous lesson we learned about tangram in this lesson we will see some interesting examples of the same we saw how Bhola learned about tangram from Babban. Come, let us see what happens next. Bhola informed the village folks about Babban's mischief. All the people were furious with Babban, but they still wanted to know more about the tangram. Babban showed all the villagers. how to make a tangram 
Bunny said that the triangular shapes among the 10 gram pieces, number 2 and number 5, were absolutely similar. Children, is Bunny right? Yes, if we take the triangular pieces number 2 and number 5 and pile them one on top of the other, then we will see that they are absolutely similar. Duck uncle said that he can only use three pieces of 10 gram to make two squares. Golu said, that he can only see one square. Children, can you say how uncle made two squares? Well done, children. Your answer is absolutely correct. The piece number three is a square and we can join pieces number 2 and 5 this way and make a square. Well done children! Your answer is absolutely correct. Now Bhola said that pieces number 4 and 5 have one similar edge. Children, can you recognize them? Yes! This answer is absolutely correct. Children, can you join three pieces of the tangram to make a rectangle like this? We can join pieces number two, four and five in this way to make a rectangle like this. All the villagers enjoyed learning about the tangram. Babban said that he will tell them more interesting things about the tangram the next day. In this lesson, we saw some interesting examples related to the tangram. In the previous video, we saw some interesting examples related to the tangram. We will get to know more about it in this video. The next morning, all the villagers gathered together. All were waiting for Babban. Just then, Babban reached there with another type of tangram in his hands. Everybody crowded around Babban excitedly. Babban said that today he has brought a seven-piece tangram along with him. People did not believe Babban so easily. They felt that Babban was up to some mischief again. Golu said, if it is really a tangram, then can Babban make shapes with it? Babban started joining the pieces of the tangram and made a rabbit out of them. Bunny the rabbit became very happy upon seeing this. He said that he looked exactly like it. Now Bunny also wanted to use the tangram to make the rabbit figure. Children, can you say how Babban joined the tangram pieces to make the shape of a rabbit? Well done, children! You have perfectly recognized it. After learning how to make the rabbit shape, Bunny and others return home excitedly to their respective homes. 
But Appu was not impressed with only the rabbit shape. He told him to make the shape of his dear friend Tufan a tortoise. Babban was lost in thought. Children, can you take the help of your teacher or some elder to help you make the shape of Tufan tortoise with the ten gram pieces? Oh wow! Children, you have made a beautiful tortoise figure. Seeing this shape, Appu and some others left to show Tufan what they had learned. Shere Khan was still not impressed with the tortoise shape. He asked Babban if Babban could make a rectangle using all the pieces of the tangram. Children, can you make the shape that Shere Khan has asked for? Well done! You have found the right solution to this. Babban has also made a rectangle with the tangram pieces just like you. Now Shere Khan and his friends left after being impressed with Babban also. With this, all the people left for their homes except for Bhola who was still standing there. Babban asked Bhola which shape should he make to impress him. Then Bhola said to him that he did not want to get any figures made. He was already impressed with Babban's intelligence and knowledge of the tangram. Both Babban and Bhola started laughing. In this lesson, we saw some more interesting examples of the tangram.